Hi guys, and welcome back to another Vampire Bloodlines. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know I am. Let's continue on with our Malkavian shenanigans. What is it we were doing? I can't... I think that we can do. It's this way though. Jump. Jump. Ooh, glitchy wall. Well damn. Alright, beach access. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could Ow. you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago up in Malibu, on Sky Beach. Looked like, I don't know, what the hell was that? Shark bite? Nah, I seen shark bites or something different. Whatever killed him. Hmm. Literally slashed the ribbons. Worst part was we heat wagon. Someone was watching. Swear on my bed and shit. Or something. It's not something. Worst part was that we were going to spot the party as well. Cops seen some shit, man. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! Or a vampire. Don't joke, Mr. Woo! Policeman. You don't know what's out there. <laughs> the fact that they took the time to come up with this dialogue. I think it's just awesome. It's like little Easter eggs. Alright. Ooh. Jump. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Who are you? Ah, the demons who broke their feet for the cart. Those men you are looking for. You see the twisted strings of my tomorrows. Men oh, the dialogue. Like you wouldn't understand. Shadow Seer. I shall talk to all of you. Later. Alright. <gasps> what was that? There were just fucking people's shadows everywhere. See if I can get out in without a fight. Help ya. Hey there, beach boy. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll let you in. If on your way out you want to work out a little fair trade for future purchases, you come see me. I'm Brian. Well, isn't that nice? Damn, I want to hurt somebody. Mm. Mm. It's always nice when you don't have to fight your way into every situation. No, stop luck making. Oh god. See, now that's just not what I wanted. This guy's not doing anything, am I still alright?
Yay, no one's shooting me. That's bizarre. Shark lube. Wow. Surfer port. Santa Monica. I really don't care about the surfer ports. Gotta call him on the phone or nothing. Say that, pretty lady. What can I hook you up with tonight? What's in your little green bag? I need astral light to set the sky on Ain't fire. Ain't that a goddamn coincidence? You know you're the second person to ask for that tonight. Considering that's not a very popular item, I have really got to wonder why you thought I might have some. Nothing matters. Give me the astralite. Explosives. Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fire? <laughs> I like my mind tricks and, as the Malkavians. That's pretty cool. Sure, okay. <coughs> I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astralite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Hmm. Money is so boring, sweetheart. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd be open to negotiations. Question is, how open are you? <coughs> Yo, go check the odometer on my car. <laughs> now, I'll give you what you want, but I got what you need. Yay! Free lunch. What's with the black borders around the bars? Oh, he's quite a pedigree bag of blood. the game glitching all right just give me a minute guys You're welcome back guys oh that's creepy um yeah all right glitching gun I have no idea why that happened but I think we are on the right track Down we go. <sighs> what is that? That is so creepy. Ooh, airplanes. Really, really creepy. All right. <sighs> Let's talk to you. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt around here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You mean you ain't here to run us off? 
Well, why would I do that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's citing the main, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Don't know. You all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Clan? See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. Nice to be Australian, isn't it? i just come to town for the surf tournament. Seems like years ago. It's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Who? Who do you meet? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. So here I am now. Eh? A mystery to myself. Oh, that's so sad. Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up on these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Aye, most of them just recently arrived in LA. Were chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. <laughs> More in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. Only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids glass with him. They made it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. So apparently there is uh, inequality and racism between vampires as well. Well damn. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? You mean he's around here? Where? And, and what game is he playing? I, I really need to find him. If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? <sighs> if what? only. Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah. Shame that wasn't very nice of me. conversation ever it's n nothing hey you hope they don't find me fine don't talk to me then yeah no don't get stuck all right last one no no you are going to jump why is he smiling the father is, is it the father behind him you're creepy. Run. Run from 
from what? Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. I don't know what I'm saying. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. And on the end, it will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. I feel like I'm being haggled. Hustled. Hustled is the right word. Then ask again. Tell because me more. Ship is not who he says she is and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Four lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Creepy. Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Hmm. Men everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Oh, I thank you. Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. Don't open it. I will keep that in mind. Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. <laughs> Ah, I always find those funny. I see the future, not the past. Alright. I think we can continue on. <gasps> What's on the hill there? That's something. It's a wolf. Wolfie? Wait, where'd you go? Freddy Wolfie just ran away. No friends for me. Bubblegum, because why not? Arcade games. Old school. Alright. Just log updated. Poor bastard. Let's make our way back to our friend on the couch. And here we are. Let's see what he's got to tell us. Boom, boom. Did you waste those sons of bitches? Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Yes, I did. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. <laughs> Astrolite is fun, no? That Astrolite? <laughs> twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Uh, tell me where is this house of wares? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tom. Bertram Tom. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes the tongue, thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She and his sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. <laughs> Alright, what can you tell me of the dark daughter? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh personality like stone who exactly the white Therese, daughter Therese I don't like but I can respect her 
Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. <laughs> All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. But anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Well, then. Who exactly? Uh, tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I'd say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> tell me more about the blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Looking good there. Specifically? Who exactly? I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Alright, I think exactly. that's everything I could ask. Uh... Wait. Is it? Um... One... Specifically? Oh, sorry. Uh... Do 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 do... Alright, yes, Songs that's that. Tatters and father dances in the dark. That is creepy. But hey, what you gonna do? I'm happily married. Stole my love from him. Got some experience points to spend though. to the asylum we go. I like Jeanette. She's actually a future cosplay I want to do. I think the problem is just the hair. <laughs> what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Ooh, I see before me a beauty who shares the madness of my mind. What? Oh my, a Malkavian. This ought to be absolutely delicious. Two minds as crazy as ours, and who knows just what might happen. <laughs> Oh, but you've got it bad, little girl. Not sure exactly what is real and what isn't. Jazz, let's see. Isn't that a two-faced woman, guy? Of course, you're right. You just happen to meet the prettier face first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. 
Of course, I hope you wear white to have wings, but we can talk about that later. Hey. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. <laughs> I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's ring walls. And on the path, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. I am Jeanette, and this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Enjoy, and then I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.